Hi, I'm David Dodge with Green Energy Futures. As we tell the stories of people and businesses and communities embracing green energy solutions, we've run into some common themes. A big one is turning waste into a valuable resource. This week we head to the regional district of Nanaimo, British Columbia to see how they turn waste and sewage into electricity, compost and carbon credits. Home to almost 150,000 people, the Nanaimo Regional District took a buffet approach to finding value in waste. Our first stop was the Smelly Sewage Facility. Here, human waste is captured and piped into three giant biogas digesters. Methane is produced in the anaerobic environment of the digesters, enough to run a 330-kilowatt cogeneration mini power plant. We capture methane gas from the digester and push it along this pipe where it goes into our cogen facility and it's first cleaned, the water is removed and it's pushed into the internal combustion generator where we're producing about 167 kilowatts, about half capacity of its potential at the moment. That's Chris Midgley, the manager of energy and sustainability for the regional district of Nanaimo. As mentioned, this is a cogen facility, so cogeneration of electricity, but also heat. So the heat that's being produced at this site is actually being directed back toward the buildings, where it's heating the buildings, providing comfort to the workers here, but also going into the process heat for the treatment of the sewage itself. So he heating the waste that's in the digesters. Nanaimo also harvests methane from an old landfill that they've covered over. That has been used to fuel a 1.3 megawatt electricity generator since 2009. But the real apple of the eye of the Nanaimo Regional District is their curbside organic pickup program. Well, welcome to Lower Lanceville. Here we are, one of the communities participating in our curbside organic collection. So what it is, household organic waste, your veggies, your leftover uh, meat products, grains, vegetables, all go in the green bin. and. Uh, once a week, uh, the trucks come by and collect it and send it over to a composting company, International Composting Corporation, where it's converted into compost instead of filling the landfill. So it prolongs the life of the landfill, prevents emissions arising from decomposition of organic waste, and helps us uh, become a zero-waste community here in the region. Everything from beans to bones goes in the green organic waste bins in the Nanaimo Regional District. And while this makes for a pretty disgusting pile of slop once it's collected, it also makes great compost. And the program allows the Nanaimo Regional District to meet its carbon neutrality targets with the province of British Columbia. It definitely confirms that one person's waste is another person's treasure. It's part of a general philosophy that around zero waste where you treat that not as a waste product but as a resource. Try to recover as much as you can. As a regional district we're responsible for managing all these different streams of waste so try to find opportunities to either generate energy or other benefits from those materials. To learn more about Nanaimo's innovative bioenergy center head to greenenergyfutures.ca. We've also got photos, a blog, and a podcast to boot. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.